Welcome to Behind the Story. I'm Colleen Deli, host of American Media's Inside the Vatican podcast. Today, Pope Francis released his final document following up on the Amazon Synod. The document, called Querida Amazonia, or Beloved Amazon, lays out Francis' hopes for social justice, cultural and ecological preservation, and the growth of the Catholic Church in the Amazon region. Joining me today to discuss the document is Cardinal Michael Cherney, Undersecretary for the Vatican's Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development and a Special Secretary to the Amazon Synod. Cardinal Cherney joins us from Vatican City, where he officially presented this document just a few hours ago. Uh, welcome to the Behind the Story, Cardinal Cherney. Thank you. Nice to be with you. Yeah, good to see you. Um, to get us started, I was hoping that you could just give me your one or two sentence summary of the big takeaways from this document. The uh, Querida Amazonia is a love letter. It's addressed to my beloved Amazonia. And because the Holy Father loves the Amazon, he shares with us his four dreams of the Amazon, an ecological dream, a social dream, a cultural dream, and a pastoral dream. And uh, because he loves someone or something that is um, not only very rich and very wonderful, but also in deep trouble, so his dreams include very, very challenging uh, problems which need uh, the response of everyone. Right. Um, I think that I should ask you about um, this morning at the press conference where you presented this document, one of the challenges that the Amazon faces that was brought up is the um, question of the priest shortage and this proposal to ordain married men that came out of the Amazon Synod's discussion. Um, there's a question here about, you know, Pope Francis presented that document alongside his. There's a question of how much weight to give the Synod document's proposal and whether that question of ordaining married men is still open for discussion and maybe open for application. Um, can you clarify how these documents are meant to be read together and how we should take that? Sure. The uh, Carita Amazonia uh, presents the uh, conclusions of the Synod, the final document of the Synod, uh, officially presents them. That means that the Pope gives them to us and asks us all to read them and to read all of them. So uh, this isn't the moment at which we can say, well, what about Proposal 6 or Proposal 27 or Proposal 98? Because we are to look at all of them. And the Church in the Amazon, and indeed the Church everywhere, is welcome and invited to consider all the proposals. So there's the, the uh, Carita Amazonia doesn't resolve or close any of the questions. Got it. So it, this is kind of something that Francis does often after synods. He, he leaves the topics in the hands of the local church for further discussion. Um, he also did this in this document with the discussion of women in church leadership in the Amazon. He pointed out the many ways that women have church, kept the church alive in the Amazon, and he calls for new ways for women's leadership to be recognized by the church, but without ordaining them as deacons. So he's calling for new creative solutions. And I'm wondering you know, if you have any idea what that could look like, what ideas have been discussed already. Well, when in Caridia Amazonia, which gives so, so much credit to women for al already having uh, uh, carried and supported the church uh, so significantly, which I think is itself uh, a revelation to many people and will be a, a welcome point of departure, uh, he calls, as you say, for creativity. And one of the creative uh, options, which is there in the final document, is to recognize care for the common home as a church ministry, a church ministry open to men and women, uh, to young people and old people, and uh, a ministry which would be uh, recognized, which would be publicly acknowledged, which would have the backing of the bishop. Now, that's, that's some, that just opens up a whole series of possibilities not only, I think, in the Amazon, I think you can probably imagine parishes in the United States, which could do very well to have a ministry of care for the common home. That's just one example of what the new possibilities that are there. Right. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the socio-cultural preservation that Francis talks about in this document. Uh, you gave an interview to Vatican News in which you said that Francis in this document reverses the usual way of thinking about the relationship between wealth and poverty, between preserving culture and being open to newness. And I was wondering what, if you could talk a little bit about that, what that means, um, what that reversal looks like. Uh, so, I think what uh, we have is, is a good example of where this love for the Amazon becomes very practical. And um, 
the reversal is that we seem we seem to be in front of a dilemma, which is ever is to preserve the Amazon as if it was practically like a living museum and just stay out of it and don't touch it or exploit it, uh, cut it down, burn it up, uh, dig it up and uh, be done with it. And between those two extremes, uh, there is the reversal that you that you talk about. And the um, Nobel Prize winning scientist who joined us uh, today in the, in the press conference calls for a development of the Amazon with the rivers flowing and the trees standing. And that is the real challenge. That is something that we haven't learned to do yet, really anywhere in the world. And it's very urgent that we learn to do it in the Amazon. And I'm delighted that the church will be promoting this kind of healthy, sustainable, culturally sensitive, and future-oriented development in the Amazon. All right, Cardinal Michael Cherney, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us this morning. I know that you're very busy today. Um, for more yes. videos like this for American Media, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find our full coverage of Querida Amazonia at americamagazine.org, and you can support our work at americamagazine.org slash donate. For American Media, I'm Colleen Deli with Cardinal Michael Cherney. We'll see you next time.